Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren. Today we're going to be doing a 2019 home theater tour coming up next. Before we get into today's tour, if you're into audio and video demos, reviews, media tech, and home theater stuff, this is the channel for you. Smash that subscribe button, tap that bell notification, so you don't miss a beat. Let's get to the video. All right, so let's begin the today's tour. So here's the front part of my home theater. Uh, I built this screen by myself. It has uh, blackout fabric from Joanne Fabrics. The velvet around the screen is a three inch tape that I just cut into sections there to make it on the uh, screen itself. Uh, quite easy to do, cheap in price. On the left wall here, we got some decor from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. Down here, I'm looking to get a, another subwoofer um, to have two subs in a room. It's about what this room can pretty much handle. My speakers, uh, left from right, I'm using a Emotiva Air Moto speaker line. It's the C2, the C1, and another C2. And the reason why I have two C2s instead of towers is because my wife doesn't care for towers and um, she just doesn't want me to get towers, so I opted for this. So this suits my situation. Um, I think I won out on this deal anyhow. Uh, but the uh, stand that I'm using is from Ikea. These are two stands put together. Probably going to get some Earl X um, foam to put underneath the uh, LCRs here. Just to lift them up a little bit. Um, in the drawer here I keep my Blu-rays. What you've seen in some of my audio demos care to see which ones I have. Some more sitting over here. I have quite a few old ones as well. I'm a big Buck Rogers fan as well. And the next one here, I just have some equipment that I use for my YouTube. Some lighting here. Uh, these drawers do go back pretty deep. Next one over, I don't have nothing in there. And then in this one, the final one, I have my acoustic foam, which I still haven't used yet because I'm trying to get a better idea of where I want to place them. I'm thinking of putting them behind the C2s and the, and the C1, um, just to see how that uh, translates throughout the rest of the room. The subwoofer I'm using over here in the corner is a Martin Logan uh, Dynamo 300, which is a 150 watts RMS. Uh, does its job. Probably going to get a second one, like I said before, in the other corner. Posters I'm using right now is the Indiana Jones Doctor Who, which I'm a big Doctor Who fan. Star Wars, which pretty much everybody's got Star Wars by now. My furniture is a sectional from Menards. It's got uh, reclines at both ends, two sets of cup holders, two areas of storage. Here's the other one where I put my iPad and my other remote controls. I love this couch quite a bit. It sits nice, fits like a glove. I'm thinking about uh, putting some LED lighting just around the bottom here where it curves. I can't put anything below where the uh, recliners go, but that's where I'm thinking about putting some LED lighting. Let me down in the comments below what you think about that idea. Also, 
I could put some in the back here as well, just to go around the curve. That might look all right as well. Got a scratching tower for my cats and a sleeping station. Here is my right surround sound on the side here. It's a Yamal C60, uh, which hopefully I'll get some uh, Emotiva E2s is what I'm looking for. My Dark Knight poster here, some more home decor. Here's my uh, Ghostbusters poster. In the back here, we have the Airmotive E1s, which these guys are being phased out right now because the E2s are outselling them. So if you want a pair of these, they're going for about 168 online. So take a look at the Emotiva website. Some more home stuff. Evil Dead lunchbox. I'm a big Evil Dead fan. I like uh, Bruce Campbell quite a bit. Here's just another cabinet in the back where I hold my some of my home theater magazines and stuff. Here is the other E1. Some more home stuff. Using a Lutron uh, light system here. I got two of them there. My doors on the theater room is a pocket door here and a regular door over here. Some more home decor stuff. Clock. And my uh, Wizard of Oz poster here. And this shelf here is where I uh, have my Harmony 900 remote control. Probably going to go to the Harmony Hub and probably just use my iPad as a remote. What's in the Blu-ray player right now is Kong, Skull Island. Great movie. Demo is coming up soon for that one. And then here is my equipment rack I use here. This is a equipment rack built into the wall. I've had somebody from work do this rack for me. The uh, picture is being supplied by the uh, Epson A350. Uh, it's a 2010 model. I like this projector quite a bit. It only goes up to 1080p, no 3D video. Um, I'm looking to upgrade to a UHD model. Probably the 5040, which I know it's a, a full K. Uh, but I want to get a 4K, but Sony's and JVC's are a little bit on the high end right now. So I'm just looking for a budget 4K projector. If anyone's got any ideas, leave it down in the comments, please. And from here, we're going to go into the equipment rack. So here is my equipment rack. Uh, I had someone from work build this rack for me uh, right into the wall. Um, I think it was a good idea. I didn't feel like having a um, rack sitting out in the open, uh, taking more space away from my room. Going from top to bottom, I'm using a Emotiva UPA5 5 channel amplifier. Looking to add on to another uh, 7 channels, I believe, for Atmos. Moving on down, I'm using a uh, Yamaha RXV667, and I'm thinking of getting two uh, receivers in mind. It's a uh, Marantz uh, 6013. Also, I'm looking at a Denon uh, AVR4500H. Uh, I do know that. Uh, Emotiva is coming out with a um, uh, receiver sometime this year, so I'm just going to kind of wait and see a little bit as to what they're going to come out with, if it's a 9-channel amplifier uh, receiver that I'm looking for. Um, other than that, just got to play the waiting game. Moving on down, I have a Panamax M5300EX. It's done the job, but here again, 
need time for an upgrade. My Blu-ray player is a Panasonic DMP BDP T210. It does play 3D videos. My projector, however, does not do 3D, so it's kind of a waste in my opinion. Um, also looking to get a Panamax, or I'm sorry, a uh, Panasonic uh, DMP BDP uh, 820 ultra high definition player They're right now about uh, 449 I believe from Best Buy so that's what I'm looking at this is where my internet is all hooked up here my Linksys and uh, my um, modem that I own and I also use a uh, NVIDIA shield um, sometimes not all the time though I also use my um, uh, Amazon Fire Stick, which is hooked up in the back, I use that mostly just because it's, uh, I can do a lot more stuff with it. And down here in this drawer here, just a few more items that I just store up. Pardon the brightness of the lights here, but uh, also want to mention here that I am looking to get some Atmos speakers. I'm looking at uh, putting them in between the two lights there and the two lights over there. And as well in the back here, um, preferably, I'm going to probably put one just in front of this light right here and as well on the other side. So I'm looking at some uh, Micas, the uh, M8C uh, in-ceiling speaker. So if anybody has other suggestions, leave it down below in the comments. If you enjoyed today's tour of my home theater, let's carry the conversation down below. I'd love to hear what speakers, equipment rack, projectors, and everything else you like to use in your home theater Give me some more ideas. Until then, I'll see you next time.